<laughs> I've had complaints about how my videos don't always make sense, so I finally decided to make a video that relates to my channel, and that is a video about the vast amounts of ocean trash drifting in the ocean and slowly degrading. Nothing like a video about yourself. This is personally a huge problem for me because it makes people call my videos unoriginal, but believe it or not, there are bigger problems than that. Only a little bit. So you might already know about these ocean guys that contain a superly consistent amount of garbage in them. But are you aware of their dangers? Hey, do you know those plastic bags you use at the shops? Well, soon you won't in WA because we're getting rid of them. If you saw one of those bags in the water, you would notice they look a lot like jellyfish. And besides being a tasty snack for me, like these pretzels, they're also a tasty snack for turtles. And that can be very dangerous. That's why I was relocated to this oceanless town, nearly choked to death in one of those plastic bags. If the lives of many turtles doesn't stop you from using plastic bags, then maybe the death of your favourite YouTuber will. I'm indifferent. Of course, the big plastic bags aren't the only problem, and probably not even the biggest problem. A bigger problem would be the photo-degrading plastic that has been turned into edible chunks, which can make them very dangerous because they go up the food chain, and before you know it, you yourself are eating those plastic pellets. And sadly, you can't get rid of all the plastic by eating it. Believe me, I tried. So, those are some of the problems. What are the solutions? Well, the biggest and most obvious solution to clean up the plastic rubbish in the ocean is to stop littering. I mean, all plastic pretty much eventually ends up in the ocean, and if you start going Japan-style recycling, you're gonna really reduce the amount of plastic that's going in, and it would make it a lot easier to handle what's already there. But how do you handle what's already there? Well, the best way to think of a good solution is to break it down into its individual problems and then solve them. And then put them back together. And then remember that you forgot a Lego piece, and now this, this entire creation you followed the instructions for is kind of looking a little weird. So you just kind of get one that's a different colour, and then yeah, I'm getting off track. Issue 1. Collecting the plastic. Out of pretzels. Collecting plastic would be the easy part. All you would really have to do is get a filter to filter out the water and collect whatever's left over, which would mostly be the plastic. The main issue with it would be the amount of labour or just general cost of the, all that filtering, which I'll get to in a second. Issue two, bycatch. Essentially when you filter out the water, what's left might not only be what is plastic, but also animals and other important parts of an ocean ecosystem and that could potentially cause damage if we removed it. But I think I have a work around this. You see, the way that creatures try and know whether or not to avoid something is through their senses. If you were to smell or hear something unpleasant, you would typically try to do something to avoid it. The simple solution to the bycatch would just be to make whatever we're using to filter out the plastic wanting to be avoided. Make it an unpleasant sense either to to see or to hear or to smell. For example, we can make it appear to be a predator like a, a shark, something that most creatures would be scared of. Or maybe we can kind of emit some sort of sound that is extremely dissonant to all creatures. Something like that. Issue 3. Money and incentives. So what I think would be the most monumentous challenge for this cleaning up issue would be the amount of money it would take to do something. Even if we already had all the ideas laid out, all the research done and everything ready to be funded, it would still be difficult to find a source of money to clean up the oceans. Which is funny because if we don't clean up the oceans then we're going to lose a lot more money than it will cost to clean it up. I know what you're thinking. Loom. What if the government's pitched in and did it for us? Well, as much as the government has been created to solve issues like these, it's also not very good at solving issues like these. They're slow, and they typically only look for short-term solutions. The only real way we could figure out how to get this done quickly is to figure out a way to make it profitable in the short term. What I'm saying is, our solution might be capitalism, baby. We could figure out a way to make collecting this plastic profitable to companies, and the ocean problem will be cleaned up quicker than I could finish this video. So, did they do it? This idea isn't complete fantasy. You've heard of reduce, reuse, recycle. Well, 
our first solution would be to reduce the amount of waste we have and reuse it so that it's not going to the ocean. But with the ocean that's already there, our final frontier would be to recycle it. And recycling can be profitable because what you're essentially doing is collecting plastic that has already been created and then reusing it by breaking it down and reforming it. If we can find a solid way to collect it safely without damaging the ecosystems and then make it efficient enough to fish out and recycle for money, we can fix this problem. All it would take is a lot of thinking and a lot of science and a lot of capitalism.